Hi, this is David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions and I'm going to take a look at Autodesk Real Architecture 2012. A nice feature we have now is we can bring a point cloud data into um, Revit. On our insert tab we have point cloud. If we can click on it, you'll see that it takes in the PCG format, which is an indexed format that Autodesk uses. You can take in the raw format and what it will do is index to a PCG that will make it very quick um, to navigate and control on the screen. So I have a file here I'm going to bring in. I'm simply going to hit open and the point cloud will come in. Again, we can see it in plan view here, but if I populate the 3D and navigate, you can see the actual cloud. Because it's indexed in PCG, it's very quick, easy to move on the screen as well. We've also got other options that we can actually scale this. So if I pop it out, say, to an east elevation, we can pick up the whole cloud. And maybe the scaling was wrong in this particular instance. I'm going to pop this down by a factor of 1.5. Hit OK. And now I can get it in position. So I can actually click on the cloud and then use my standard um, commands to actually move. It will actually snap to um, the cloud information as well. So I can get it into aligned into my level. So I'm down at level 0. And I can take it back in my 3D view. Um, so it means once I have it in, I could actually maybe start tracing around some of the geometry. So if I pop this back to level zero here, I'd say maybe add in the likes of a wall. So let's take a wall. Um, we'll take a basic simple wall here. I could do an arc. And you'll see what we can do is actually snap to points on the actual cloud. So I'll, I'll use my arc here. You actually snap up and pick two points and then bring the arc out. So again, we could tidy the information up, but if I pop it in the 3D, you'll see that my wall has actually come in against the cloud. There it is there. So again, we can drag and drop and change that information. The nice thing about bringing the cloud in as well is if I take it back to floor plan level zero, um, we can simply section through this. So I'm take a section line. Again, I can crop my section box. If I duplicate my 3D view, by right clicking it goes to the 3d view and we can right click on this and um, orient the view to our section so you can see it's actually obeyed the crop so not only can you bring the cloud in you can actually crop to it you can snap it's indexed to a format that Revit um, will perform quite fast um, navigation control on it and um, it's a nice feature to actually use I'm David Gawley from Pentagon Solutions thanks for your time